Human beings may be the most intelligent creatures on Earth, but did you know that we are reliant on a number of animals, which we would find it hard to live without? Number 5. Earthworms These often forgotten creatures are kings of the soil. Earthworms construct burrows in the Earth, which act as air spaces allowing oxygen and water. This is key to the survival of other soil-dwelling invertebrates, and is important for plant roots. Even just the presence of earthworms in a habitat and improves biodiversity, where there are lots of earthworms, bacteria, and fungi follow. Although, this might sound like a bad thing. These organisms help to break down nutrients and make them available to plants. Earthworms act as nature's plows, mixing up the layers and spreading nutrients, improving overall soil, fertility. Even their feces are important, as it helps to give the soil a good crumb-like structure. Number 4. Ants With over 12,000 species of ants, we are extremely reliant on these little buggers in terms of decomposition, just like earthworms, and help turn up soil when they dig tunnels. But they also have other important roles. During this process, the ants aerate the soil, and this helps recycle the nutrients found in the soil, which is important for plants to grow, which we human beings. They also transport seeds to nutrient-rich nests where plants can grow safely. Scientifically, ants are known to increase the yield of wheat crop coffee and even chocolate. Without these ants, it would be difficult to get a steady supply of our morning coffee, chocolate for dessert and bread for breakfast to top that off ants eat pests. Ants like to eat fleas, flies, larvae, and bed bugs, all of which can host parasites that are harmful to humans. In addition to that, plants balance the levels of oxygen and carbon dioxide. As humans breathe out carbon dioxide, plants turn it into oxygen, which we can breathe again. Number 3. Plankton It's a common misconception that plankton are only plants, but the term actually refers to any living organism underneath the water that is virtually incapable of moving on its own. Why are plankton important? Because they're the reason we can all breathe. Through photosynthesis and some healthy appetites, both phytoplankton and zooplankton play an important role in converting energy into oxygen and distributing it around the world. Take a deep breath and say thank you, because plankton are responsible for half the Earth's oxygen. Number 2. Bats Creepy as they may seem bats are real superheroes for life. Bats will never harm humans and less threatened. With over 1,200 species of bats, we are assured that our crops are protected from pests year in and year out. Bats eat millions of pest insects that can destroy our crops. This also means that we have lesser need for pesticides, which are harmful chemicals that can cause cancer. Bats also kill insects that carry diseases such as mosquitoes. Did you know about a bag can consume up to a thousand mosquitoes an hour? Now that would save us from dang fever and malaria bats are also great pollinators. Bats carry pollen when they drink nectar from flowers, and as they travel far distances, they also have another environmental advantage, bad droppings. Especially from Fort Everest beds have the significant role of seed dispersal, as unlike any other seed dispersing animal bats traveled far distances, helping plants grow and survive in a variety of locations. Number 1. Bees. Breasting hurts for sure. But did you know that without bees human beings would not be able to see? There are over 20,000 known species of bees and all of them do one thing that's important to us produce food. In fact, even Albert Einstein once remarked that if bees were to disappear off the face of the earth tomorrow, man would only have four more years left to live. Although scientists no longer believe the outlook is so grave, these are certainly one of the most important species on the planet. Bees produce honey and essential source of nutrients and sugar for mankind. But more importantly, bees are the world's most effective and greatest pollinators around 80% of American crops are said to be totally dependent on pollination by bees, and the picture is similar worldwide. Pollination is the process by which pollen is transferred from a plant's male part to another plant's female part. Without these plants could not reproduce, and without plants to eat animals will die. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe.